Today, I would like to talk to you about calendar. Let's see what the definition of calendar is uh, in Google. Calendar is a chart or series of pages showing the days, weeks, and months of a particular year or giving particular seasonal information. We have uh, many calendars uh, based on different uh, religions, based on different cultures, and uh, I would like to point out to you a few of them. There is this Assyrian calendar, which is about started about 6,771 years ago. The Hebrew calendar, 5,782. The Chinese, 4,720. The Julian calendar, 2,775. Buddhist, 2,563. Gregorian, 2022. Hindu 1943, Islamic 1443, Iranian 1400, French Revolutionary 230 years. Okay, what is the Gregorian calendar? Gregorian calendar is the calendar in current use in the Western world both as a civil and Christian ecclesiastical calendar instituted by Pope Gregory XIII in 1582. The calendar has 365 days with an extra day every four years, the leap year, except in years divisible by 100 but not divisible by 400. The 12 months of the uh, Gregorian calendar, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, it is very important to note here that the Gregorian calendar starts in January, which is almost uh, in the beginning of winter. The, uh, th these are the seasons. So as you can see, spring or autumn, March the 1st to May 31st, summer, Winter, June 1st to August 31, autumn, spring, September 1st, November 30th, winter, summer, December 1st to February 28th. So, uh, as you can see here, uh, the Gregorian calendar is in winter. So this is how the Gregorian calendar is uh, calculated. As you can see, it takes 365 days for the Earth to rotate around the sun and end up here. So when it is closest to the sun, it is summer, and when it's uh, furthest from the sun is winter. Again, here you can see the rotation of the earth around the sun, which explains the uh, seasons, summer, autumn, winter, and spring. Okay, now we come to the Iranian uh, calendar, which I think is probably one of the best calendars in terms of 
it begins in the beginning of spring, March 21st, beginning of spring. Why I think it is interesting? Because in March, in spring, we can see that the trees are beginning to give new leaves. The, uh, it is blooming and everything in nature is brand new. So I will explain to you uh, the months of the Persian year. Farvardin Ordi Behesh Ordad, which uh, is between March to June. Pir Mordad Shahivar between June to September. And Meh Aban Azar is between September to December. And Day Bahman Esfan between December to March. So as you can see uh, here, the Gregorian calendar is uh, in winter. It starts in January. In January, when you go outside, you see that it is the trees uh, have lost their leaves. There are no leaves on the trees and it is uh, it symbolically or let's say uh, it, the, the season is very cold and it is almost the end of the uh, it is the end here you can see in the Gregorian calendar the winter they have lost their leaves. Spring, the Iranian calendar, you see the trees uh, are blooming, the leaves are new. In the summer, you see that the leaves uh, are uh, all on the tree and they are becoming mm, dark. Here it is a pistachio green, here it is dark green. And in autumn, you see that the trees are losing leaves. So this is the Gregorian calendar. This is the Persian calendar. And in my opinion, this calendar has more to it than the Gregorian calendar because it is beginning of the new year, beginning of uh, nature uh, you, um, growing new leaves. And everything is blooming here. Spring, winter, summer, and autumn. So again, winter, uh, spring, summer, and fall. Okay, now we come to the Islamic calendar, which I don't think. Uh, I don't think it is too interesting, but let me anyway read it to you. Muharram Safar Rabiul Awal Rabiul Akhir Jumadul Ula Jumadul Akhra Raja Shaban Ramadan Shaban Dul Fida Dul Hijjah. Okay, so Raja. Jamal Yul Awal, Rajab, Ramazan, Shobal, Muharram, Zuhal Qadir, Safar, Zuhal Hajj, Rabi Yul Awal, Rabi Yul Sani, Jamal Yul Sani, Shaban. Again, here are the 12 months of the Islamic calendar. Muharram, Safar, and so on. Is Muharram and Islamic New Year saying, what is the first of Muharram? The first of Muharram or the Islamic New Year marks the beginning of the Islamic lunar calendar year. Very important lunar calendar year. For many Muslims, it begins at the first sighting of the lunar crescent after the new moon in the month of Muharram. Uh, 
Islamic New Year represents the starting point of the Muslim era as it coincides with the Hijrah, the Prophet's journey from Mecca to Medina on the 1st of Muharram in 662 CE. Prophet Muhammad needed to relocate because somebody had intentions to execute him. And in this diagram, you see the lunar months, the lunar months. You see the rotation of the moon around our earth. So when you are uh, on earth, you can observe the different phases of the moon. Here is full moon. Here it is uh, uh, almost uh, semi-crescent and uh, so on. Again, waning quarter over here, you see half moon, waning crescent, new, wa waxing crescent, waxing quarter, waning mirrors, full, and waning virus. Okay? Now you have seen the phases of the Earth Moon vector image. And this is how the Islamic calendar works. The Islamic calendar contains 12 months that are based on the motion of the moon. And because 12 uh, synodic months is only uh, 354 days, this is very important. The Gregorian calendar or the Persian calendar had 365 days, whereas the Islamic calendar has 354 days. Uh, the Islamic calendar is consistently shorter than a tropical year and therefore it shifts with respect to the Christian and the Persian calendar. Uh, so, um, let us say, um, okay, here I have shown you uh, the 355 days uh, calendar. The, the Islamic calendar is also called Hijri calendar, also known in English as the Muslim calendar. How many days are in each Islamic month? As explained, uh, it, uh, the Islamic calendar has 12 months with 29 or 30 days. If the crescent moon is visible shortly after sunset on the evening of day 29, the following day is the first day of the new months. Okay? In most years, that means that a year of 12 calendar months lasts 354 days. But... That a little over is 44 minutes every month. So to keep the calendar in step with reality, an extra day is needed nearly every third year. So these years are 355 days. Now, let me give you an example. Let us say that my birthday is on 30th of October, 1991. Yes, uh, in the Persian year is uh, 12th of uh, Aban, um, twelfth of Aban, um, and if you convert it to uh, the Islamic date, it is. 21st of Rabi al of 14,012. It's on a Wednesday. Now, what is very strange here is that um, uh, if we go according to the Islamic calendar, uh, sometimes my birthday, as I show you here on that table, yeah, sometimes it's in spring, sometimes it's in winter, sometimes it's in summer. So, uh, because 
they have less days than in the Gregorian calendar or the Persian calendar. So our, my birthday is shifting every season. Sometimes I, my birthday can be in the summertime, sometimes it can be in winter, spring or fall, as you can see here. The Islamic calendar year is not designed to match up with the length of the solar year. So it does not feature a correction mechanism like leap days in the Gregorian calendar or the Persian calendar to make up for the deviation. For each year that passed, Islamic dates fall on earlier dates in the Gregorian or Persian calendar. So thank you for listening.